Hello everyone, welcome back to Altus Plays These Cataclysms. We are... It's been a few days, some days, maybe a week, maybe two. Goodness knows how long it's been since I last played this game, but I did just watch the end of my own video and suffered through the sound of my own voice to remember that we found a car. The car is this C on the map because I asked it to remember where it was. I do also remember that up here somewhere we found a brute. Uh, there's a non-zero chance that it is following me. <laughs> uh, so we have to be very, very careful. But we do have an outpost here. We have left our trolley, a uh, shopping basket, over here. So we don't have any way of, A, getting back those items, or B, carrying new items or dragging new items around unless we find a new shopping cart. It would involve going maybe back to the grocery store. Where was that grocery store now? Was it this one right over here? It's a garden. Someone tell me. Quick. I don't know. Is it this? No, park. House. Orchard. Radio station. Ah! These are all bad. There's a house that apparently we have not explored. It's kind of difficult because we don't... Veterans of foreign wars. We don't know about um, the positions of hordes of zombies right now. I think this is something to do with the fact that our perception is low. Which means that for various things, including hordes of zombies, we don't, uh, uh, we don't know what we're doing, we don't know where they are. It's scary. We've made a 2 by sword because we lost our army knife. We lost our, our, our combat knife by dropping it instead of sheathing it in order to try and get the gun out. I think we, do we still have the gun then. Uh, I, I don't know what it would be called. I don't think so. I guess we probably dropped that as well and just legged it, right? Now there's a small chance, or a, maybe a reasonable chance, that the brute is gone. So it may be worth going back at some point, but not right now, I think. What I am going to do is spend the night reading. Do I have any uh, books on me right now? Stop pressing too many buttons, you plonker. Might as well be something we can learn from. So let's read the Fletcher's Friend here. We are comfortable, but it's rising. We may get too warm. It's going to be difficult to read. We're warm, but not too warm. Whoa, excuse me. It's too dark. Right, that's gone out. What time is it? We don't know. Oh, it is. It's 2.40. Enough with thunder. That's stage thunder if ever I heard it. No. There's wood ash here. Let's move the wood ash over to... Where? <laughs> I don't know. Where do we want it to be? Oh, it should be over here. Um, and also, I would like to put some more wood in the brazier and continue. Where is my wood wood? Wood wood. Uh, two by... There are two by fours nearby. Maybe I can't see them. Anything here? Uh, inventory and all. Inventory and all. Eh, uh, we could go downstairs and get more, no doubt. A heavy stick, let's burn that. We'll drop the heavy stick. Oh, maybe we shouldn't. Drop the heavy stick down there, because the heavy stick can be useful. Wow. That was loud as all heck. Uh, can we disassemble this? No, because we lost all our tools as well. We could smash it. I'm not too interested in doing that. So this is becoming a problem because uh, we've lost everything that we were carrying with us. And I've forgotten where I am. And uh, I have... It's been long enough that I am a little bit sort of discombobulated about what's going on everywhere. It's only a splintered wood. Oh no, there's one splintered wood. So we don't have any... How many tools left? Got an oxygen tank. There's no um, wood around here for me to set fire to. The sewing kit, which is nice. It means we can at least start repairing stuff if we want to do. We're hungry. I did cook the vegetables like I said I would. Um, what? I thought we had cooked wild vegetables nearby. Just, just wild vegetables. I can cook them again, but I haven't got any blinking... There is no wood here. <laughs> so we need to get something to burn. So I'm going to have to burn the heavy stick. We can get more heavy sticks. 
Just drop it for now. Uh, wield the two five sword. What? Pick that up. Right, you're wielding it. I am. <sighs> Activate campfire drill there. Please cook some more wild vegetables. We did not like them, was my point that I was going to make. Did not like them at all. We are warm, that's okay. We'll eat them and drink that. Uh, we didn't like them to the extent of minus 7, and we're hot to, uh, to minus 20. We're hot to minus 7. I think that's um, capped there at minus 20, because we didn't dislike them anymore when we ate a few more. So... Let's continue to read this and hope that our heavy sticks last that long. It's very loud, I apologise. The fire's gone out and it's now 7 o'clock in the morning, so before too long we should... You can already see that it's brighter in here. Probably because this is not... Is this boarded up? It is boarded up. Uh, I don't know where the light's seeping in, but maybe we're not boarded up as well as they could be. So let's double check we haven't got anything we don't want, which is e.g. the Fletcher's friend there. We'll take... I don't really want the campfire drill either, so I'll put that here. Um, and we'll just peek outside and make sure nothing bad's going to happen to us as soon as we step out there. Um, turkey, groundhog, this is fine. And we're going to go and find that car. But we're going to be completely and 100% vigilant about many of the enemies that we could encounter along the way, including the shocker zombies that I suspect we forgot to butcher properly on the way. Drink that water and just be slaked, it's fine. Uh, there is a zombie... Zombie cop. We can ignore those, I think. Go around the back of the uh, swampland here. Then we can probably avoid... Nope, nope. X. Uh, capital C is yell. <laughs> capital X is peak. So be very careful. Skeleton. Ignore it. In the step out of the line of sight of that. I recognise that I cut across some uh, swampland there and it was probably a little bit dangerous, but not that dangerous. Can't repair the security. Is this one we tried to turn on before? It fails to start. Is there anything in it? I do like a hippie van. Both in real life and... Um, in, in this situation as well. Is there a reach on a 2 by sword that I, I can learn about? It has a blocking ability. Not very good. But I would like to be able to get back my... Um, my oh, I've got my M4A1. I'm wearing it. I don't think I'm too over-encumbered to fight, right? None of these on the left uh, has different colour, so we're okay. It's just not amazing. Eat this zombie up. Stop telling me, okay? I'm just going to smack it and run away and smack it and run away and... S Oop. Smack it and run away and smack it and run away and smack it and smack it again. And that should be fine. Um, I am just going to smash it. Because <laughs> the alternative... Is to try and but we can't butcher it basically because we don't have the ability. I think this one didn't work. I can tell by the fact that it's open. Zombie child. We might have to tangle with that as well. As long as we're only tangling with vaguely, yeah, um, vaguely weak enemies. I'm gonna walk on the road even though it's closer to that because goodness me. I'm gonna take out this zombie child, and the reason I'm gonna do that stop, is that I don't want it to hurt my new car <laughs> which is this one I believe yeah so we're not running right now so we have got good stamina smack it and run and smack it and run like it, it's harder to hit but it has less HP so it kind of balances in that respect uh, and we feel a bit guilty which is also a no smash uh kind of a balancing operation for the zombie child problem, but close these doors and drive this car. It does work. That's amazing. So, can we just have a look at the... Stop driving. Let's examine this car. 
what's bad about it? What do we need to fix? We've got working many things. The battery is pretty bashed. The wheels are a bit bad. Oh, is that wheel going to work? It better do. It says it's got enough wheels. It means it's not so broken that it's going to be a problem. So we'll turn it on. Also, it's a reasonably quiet car, which is also a great benefit to us. Public garden, house, house. I really want to just find something worth going to. <laughs> this is um, a common problem, not to complain necessarily, but it can be a bit of an issue with um, many games that have randomness associated with them. Is that the more things that can be random, the harder it is to find useful things because there's a temptation and I don't disagree with the temptation but at the same time you know when I complain about something I don't disagree necessarily but it does make it very easy to dilute the um the pool of S's handbrake It's easy to dilute the pool. This is a fat zombie, so we should be able to deal with it nice and easily. If someone wanted to break my car. Um, so you end up... like Previously, many of these buildings didn't exist. And it's very cool that you can just add lots and lots of building types. But, you know, it... Unless they all add something to the game, you just end up with... with world gen that is then really hard to deal with because you can't you can't win anymore you there's no grocery stores left because of these veterans there's like two veterans buildings in close proximity to one another and i don't even know what they do whereas i would like there to be a grocery store within close proximity to me and there isn't i'm gonna keep double checking to make sure that that there was two fat zombies, 88, uh, and I don't know where the other one went. So I'm going to keep watching. I see something on the radar over here. What is this? Right, uh, apparently I had a filter going on on items mode. So I was looking at items and I had a filter. <laughs> Neither of this was useful to me. There's an acidic zombie, which I don't think could see me, but it may be chasing that chipmunk. I don't want it to I don't want to break this car, okay? Also, we are learning to drive by doing it. <laughs> Driving is at 51% of zero skill. Everybody in this flipping world seems to start off unable to drive, which is insane because it's the future. Maybe it's so far in the future that everyone it's obviously not so far in the future that everyone has a self-driving car because you don't find any self-driving cars when you drive around, right? So I'm going to the survival shelter just for the sake of it right now. German Shepherd watching me, but that's okay. I'm going to try not to uh, aggravate it if I can avoid it. And I may be able to feed it in order to mollify it so that it never actually attacks me, because German Shepherds can be difficult to, in real life, so... If it decides to be aggro... No. Hat. Thank you. Um, I, I may be in trouble. <laughs> so we've made our way to this survival shelter, which has a shape that I've never seen before. There's nothing in these lockers. Ah. Uh, there might be just normal zombies down here. Still have my headlamp. Giant ant, ignoring. They don't seem to care. But also, there's nothing here. That. Large fire extinguisher. We take it? Why not? It's far too heavy. Close those. <laughs> Let's not, not tempt fate with the giant ants, okay? So giant ants are not hostile, that's good to know. Logging into evac shelter, log into first. Emergency message. So this is what you would normally get if you started in a, an evacuation scenario. Greetings, citizen. The biological attack 
has taken place and a state of emergency has been declared. Emergency personnel will be aiding you shortly. <laughs> to ensure your safety, please follow the below steps. Do not panic. Remain inside the building. Seek shelter in the basement. No. Use provided gas masks. No. Await further instructions. Press any key to continue. Uh, contact us. Searching for nearest refugee centre, please. Location 96 South. If you have any feedback concerning your visit, please contact the Department of Emergency. If you'd like to speak with someone in person or would like to write us a letter, please send it to. What does it say? So, I think it does say, and what it actually says is this. That's actually very close. Unfortunately, uh, it's probably full of zombies. <laughs> so, we, we spawned over here somewhere in this sort of zone. We could have gone to Athens, but we didn't. We went to Duxbury. But it may be worth looking in another town for something slightly less onerous than what we did find, which was a horrible, horrible situation. Uh, this German Shepherd is still okay, and it's actually walked away. And I'm hungry, so let's have some more wild vegetables just to stave off that hunger and see if we can find something better. I, I see a horde on the map, and it is there. It looks like a small one, given that it's a small Z. Maybe? I'm hoping that's how that works. So let's go to Athens, because I've never been there, and I hear it's nice to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. Uh, there's a lot of shady zombies, but they can't see me. We should kill them. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. The way driving works is if you look in here, up here. Where's my... I confused myself. Here is... This is the speed you're at, and this is the speed you're trying to be at. So if I press the down key, it changes the target speed, but I have to let time pass by pressing 5 to actually change my speed. So now I'm going at 16 kilometers an hour. Uh, I'm going to actually stop completely. What is that noise? I don't like that noise. I can't see anything. I'm just going to assume it's in the distance. <laughs> uh, get on with what I'm doing. I'm going to go out here. They're probably attracted by that sound that I'm making, right? So if I punch you a couple of times... Uh, I'm just hoping that they're not so attracted by that sound that they're going to punch my car. Please don't do that. If I wait for them to come to me, they've heard me and they can't actually see me, but I assume that they can perceive me. It's a giant ant. It's hostile to me. So the underground giant ants were not. The overground giant ant is. Which is another interesting uh, mechanic to this game. Because you can... Um, if one enemy is hostile to another enemy, it will say hostile. Basically, they're in fight mode, and they're hostile to you as well, essentially. I've been... I'm dodging a lot. I recognize this. I'm sort of ignoring. <laughs> yeah. I've been breaking a lot of grabs recently, and I'm okay with it. Um, but I wish I didn't have to. A pair of scissors is going to help, because I lost a lot of my tools. Marbles are not. Well, they might do. I bet you can make a trap out of them. But I'm walking now, so I'm just going to let my stamina get back to something I can deal with. And then I'm going to wait for you to come to me. And then I'm going to punch you again. And I'm going to punch you and punch you. I'm not punching you, obviously. I'm hitting you with a 2 by sword but... Hulk that corpse. And we're good. So stop running. Cash card might turn out to be useful when we get to Athens. But that was worthwhile. Not only that, but it helped us with a lot of our... Um, it probably helped us with our melee attacking as well. And dodging. It's going to get to very useful soon, because if you have really, really good dodging, you, you find that your... Um, why is it broken? I might have pressed stop. I might have slowed down by accident, but I don't think I did. So... There's a lot of... Right, so this is probably what's happening here. Let's watch it unfold down here in the map. These things are hostile to those. They're ignoring me right now, but it's it says hostile because they that is their state of mind. If, uh, if and necessarily has a state of mind. But you can see how this faction and that faction are... Oh, it's attacking me. Run away. coming back to me? No. So the ant that is on the road 
But you can see how there was an entire fight that I couldn't see, and it's all gone off the screen now. Look at this ant colony. It's absurd. <laughs> um, so we might have to just cut south and go across country again. But we can make big modifications to this car if we so desire, you know? And if we have the skill. What's our mechanics skill right now? We've got a two, which means we can do certain things to it. Um, and we can probably build a couple of the more useful tools um, that we might need to do bigger modifications. You need certain things like jacks and, and lifting arms and things like that. Well, what are these? Is that a pack of dogs? A pack of crows. Okay. Uh, you need that, basically, to do heavier things. Like, you can't pull an engine out of a car with your strength <laughs> unless you've got mutant amounts of strength, which is it's an option in the game. Um, you can mutate sufficient strength to just lift an engine out of a car. Uh, I'm going to stop here because stuff is happening. Slowly. It's a campsite. I'm a fan of campsites because you do tend to find... Semi decent things, but sometimes maybe also, you know, zombies. <laughs> Not so great. Uh, stop driving, please. You can hugely extend the, the the capacity of a car by sticking things on the back of it, basically. The brazier for free. You might as well take it, actually. Um, we can put it in the boot. And unzip the front of the tent, but the back of the tent was a wreck. Kind of all there is. Proficient. Ooh. Okay, let's go and get the car again. Don't mind a glow stick. Where did you come from? My sofa is still off. Yes. <laughs> I thought that would turn itself on by now. That's okay. Uh, we can go get the car and fill it up with all the stuff we're finding here. And then... See, every time I'm doing this... Or at least many times I'm doing this. It does try to grab me, which I'm not a fan of. This ha this is a bike. And control multiple electronics. Oh. Um, examine this vehicle. It is a motorcycle without enough wheels. Which is a pest. But it does... Oh, let's examine it again. It does have on the back of it uh, a box. It's just a box. So it's not quite as good as when we might have had when we found our uh, shopping cart some time ago. But, hey, it's gone quiet. Thank you for the wind stopping. It does look a bit derpy when you're at an angle with your car, so I like to sort of line it up. Stop driving. Yes, yes, yes. Safe mode is off whilst you're driving, just because if it wasn't, it would be really annoying. <laughs> because most things can just, you know, you just drive past them before they can even get near you. Uh, stop running, start smashing. Matchbook is also going to be extremely helpful. We were going to put the... Oh, many things into our new boot. Let's do that and close it as well. <laughs> drive around with the boot open. Just because just, just there's nobody else on the road doesn't mean you have to be a, a complete, you know... Just don't be a jackass about the rules of the road. I mean, half of the rules of the road are there to protect you. They don't change just because the world has ended. Tin can of sauce. Canned offal. We can eat it, but we won't like it. Broth. Fishing rod. Ugh. Put food in here. Does that mean I put... Did I put food in here? We can cook the food on the brazier if we find something with which to do so. Uh, I mean, we could probably take all these apart. Uh, salvage them for rags. That'll be fine. Honestly, it doesn't seem like a terrible idea. At some point, we're going to have to start being... Um, oh, everything and inventory. Right, not bigger. Right. At some point, we're going to have to start just... Being settled, I would really like to get settled at some point, but it is turning out to be a major faff because a smoker zombie hasn't seen me yet. Oops. Close the door. 
Uh, it hasn't seen me yet, so that's okay. It's turned out to be a faff because we keep encountering baddies. <laughs> I'm not a fan of encountering baddies if it's all the same to you. What's this down here? Dump. Could be something good in there. And a pharmacy. Almost certainly to be something good in there. So, let's have a look at our monsters nearby. Just uh, things that basically can't hurt us. So we don't care. There's a zombie. An acidic zombie. To oh, aren't you? It's not a spitter zombie, though. Yes, you can run things over with your car. No, I do not recommend it. Because if you do that... Um, you run the... Just to sit at you. There's Amigo. Oh, no. In the dump. In the smoke. Okay. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you uh, run away from. This is going to hurt. Because it's going to... Every time I do a thing, it's likely... This Decent chance of it uh, yeah, causing a whole bunch of acid. Uh, e. Nothing I care about there. Uh, our, our pain will go away. So that's okay. What I'm worried about is this Mego. I have thought. Oh, shh. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Two of them. And they've seen me. And they have completely decimated an area. And I am not a fan of this. So we're going to run the heck away. There's a zombie horde over there. Yes, let's just leave. Uh, drive. Turn. Good. Just in time. <laughs> in real life, if that was a movie, that would have been uh, a handbrake turn skid speed. Ooh, drive the Mego through the giant ants. See, it's, it says they're hostile, but they are not attacking me. Soldier ant, giant ant, ant lava. Let's just stop. Where are those Migos? They can't see me anymore. I think one of the things you can understand about Amigo is that they... You can sort of guarantee about Amigo. I keep saying Amigo like... Uh, like friend. <laughs> Not what I mean. Uh-oh. They have... They're not happy with me now. Yeah, I just killed one. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Um... They don't have very long attention spans, and they don't have very good vision. So, you can outrun them quite easily in a vehicle, and often quite easily on foot, if you're not in some amount of pain, or if you're not slow for any other reason. Here's a crash. Anything around? No. Let's, uh, let's come to a stop. Pull a handbrake. Stop. I wish stop driving were the first one, because I... Oh. Don't want to just let go of controls. <laughs> this used to be a helicopter. This is reminiscent of our own uh, problems. What's in it? A rain hood. Okay. <laughs> Here's me. <coughs> oh, granola throat. Here was me thinking. Hooray! A crashed helicopter. There's bound to be supplies in there. Oh, hooray! A flipping. Uh, a plus on a tile, that means there's supplies in there. Probably a weapon or a first aid kit or a rain hood. All right, let's cut back across country. You have to start driving before you can turn the car. You can turn the wheels and it will move this targeting reticule thingy. But when you start driving, the wheels will straighten up because... Oh, I broke the... Yeah, careful. You can quite easily break the car um, simply by running into bushes and things like that. I did run over an ant by accident. Uh, and remember, certain flowers are m much more resilient than maybe they might look at first sight. Um, so do be careful. Especially, I think, dahlias. Oh, found me. Stop driving. Um, dahlias are a particularly stubborn one for actually hurting your car if you run into them. See, I'm, I'm kind of ignoring the right-hand side here where it's telling me what's happening. The zombie has bitten me, lunged at me, tried to grab me. You know, when it comes to stand next to me like that, it, it does actually have a go for me. It's just that I'm better than it, and that's literally it. <laughs> I'm just lucky that I, I am capable of this. 
I'm thirsty and it's raining. That's a uh, that's just cruel. I can't see my timer. It's nearly thirty minutes. This game goes by fast, does it not? Uh, let's drink some water. We have three left. We have two left. There's no more enemy nearby. Um, let's um let's go a little bit for no. Close this. Drive. Then start driving. <laughs> okay. The kilometers per hour show up whether or not you're driving the car. Presumably, presumably because you can be in the car whilst it's moving, but not actually in control of it. L literally, if you let go of controls, the car will continue. There's a boomer there, so I'd rather tackle these shady zombies. Just hope that nothing else up there is anything more monstrous than a shady zombie. They're currently running away from me, as they should. I'm going very slowly. Essentially, I'm quite confident that my battery is going to remain full. Simply because it's a solar-powered car. You know? Where are you going? I don't understand. I'm wondering if the noises we're hearing are just the uh, danger music noises. Oh, this zombie can see me, of course. So let's uh, pull a handbrake here. Stop driving. E. I don't know if I need to turn the engine off for several reasons. First of all, quiet engine. <laughs> Because uh, it's electric. Secondly, um, it it being electric, um, the the solar powers. Oh, food processor. Um, secondly, the solar panels mean that it doesn't matter if I leave it switched on, because there are solar panels, so it's eventually going to charge itself, come what may. Zombie dog, zombie, and fat zombie over here. Should we just watch to see? You can see them on the mini map. They seem to be just idly wandering around. I don't want to leave my car too far away because if I need to run away and get back in it, we could leave it running. Or we could leave it pointing to safety, right? So maybe we just slowly move up until one of them sees us. Right, the zombie dog and the zombie have seen us. If we point this way like this, pull the handbrake, stop driving, get out of the car, and start running. Oh, I've been running all this time. My mistake. Uh-oh. This might have been a good time to just drive away, but we're going to... Oh, God. There's a boomer. This is bad news, bears. Um, I'm going to let the car take a bit of damage and just get in it. And drive like hell for leather. Nothing seems to have taken too much damage from that. Uh, where are we? Yeah, I didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. It thinks that I'm in a different place from the car, so we must be driving along the boundary of a, a chunk, as they say. Can we convince these bloated zombies to explode? Slow down a bit. I also want to make sure I don't drive into anything, and we're, we're, we're ca generally we're going to be faster than a zombie, right? It would be great to find a vehicle that can cope with just ramming these things over. We should be able... Okay, this is a little bit metagamey, and we should probably not do this because it's naughty. But we can do this. We have a, there's a fire truck, which we may be able to get working. We can't see the other side of it. It's possible that the wheels are not good enough. That one's working. That one's maybe broken. We can also see the controls. Which seem to be working. The security system isn't. What are those? Short ropes, okay. Uh, basically, we've been here. <laughs> also, this is uh, near the brute. So we can sort of tell whether the brute is still around. Just by driving past really quickly. I'm going to be quiet for a minute because I feel like I should. <laughs> it's literally not necessary because they can't hear me talking, obviously. Um, I, I really want to be there. I, I have accidentally put my car into reverse. I don't know how I did that. I think I'm pressing the wrong button a lot. Um, intentionally put it in reverse. And go this way and then... This decayed zombie has got nothing, right? 
But there is another zombie. Where are you? Down there. Let's, um... Let's stay near the car, but also get out. I'm going to let go. I'm not going to turn the engine off. Because I'm also assuming that if you, um... I'm also assuming that if you turn the car off, then getting back in it takes longer. Right, you have to fumble for the controls and all that sort of thing. I am running, I recognise that. Uh, which is not something you want. You want to be able to just get in it and go. This stuff starts to go wrong. I accidentally waited with the zombie next to me instead of stepping away. Um, stuff starts to go wrong. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be sitting in the car going, help, I can't figure out how to get the flipping. Ooh, ooh. Uh, can't figure out how to get the... You're walking now. Uh, the key and the flaming ignition because... A panicked situation, etc. It doesn't tend to ha happen that way, luckily. Um, because of game balance reasons, I guess there's no panic sort of uh, mode for, for the, the player. But zombie. Oh, where did you come from? I think we're fairly safe now. We've managed to outrun the majority of that horde. But... I don't want to stick around and see if... Oops, press the wrong button. I don't want to stick around and see if they're going to come at me, bro, you know? Stop running. Pick stuff up. Batteries, that's fine. Uh, we should eat our cooked wild vegetables, which are quite fresh. We might as well eat the rest. Oh, we've got loads of them. No, I won't eat that. Um, I want to go over here, but I want to be super careful. Let's put safe mode back on. I don't want to cover cropper of that brute again, but if we can find our... That's decent. Let's wield that. I like a jerry can. That's going to be really good for collecting water. Uh, or refilling gasoline or stuff like that. We don't currently have to worry about gasoline, obviously. Oh, we're wielding it. That's why I can't find it. Let's rewield our 2 by sword before I forget. Um, uh, I don't want to be in an... Start again. If we can recover our um, trolley, I think it's just here. There's a shrieker which has seen me. Okay, so let's uh, back away from this particular encounter, but we don't want to kill it if we can manage it. It's still following me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fight this near the car because if it makes a hell of a noise. And then we get into the car, we just run away, right? Where did you go? Where did you go? Go, go. Ah, lovely. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh. Let's see. There you are. How have you gone over there? Okay. Because the other th thing about the brute, who I'm very wary about, you know, coming a crocker of right now, is that. It could have followed us. Yeah? Come on then. There we go. Um, and if it's if it followed us when we ran away, then it's gonna be oh somewhere else, basically. Uh, so it, it won't hear the it won't hear the the, the shriek. Which is grand. That's probably the shrieker that we killed before, because it didn't have anything on. Um, a, a naked zombie... I think we've mentioned this before. A naked zombie... Us zombie naked zombie usually implies... That you have... You know, already encountered that one before. I want to be super careful here. I keep turning my flashlight on and off just to have a quick glance at what's in the room. Zombie dog has seen me. Let's close that curtain again. That's a uh, classic zombie comedy moment, isn't it? Opens window, sees baddie, closes window. Or curtains. <laughs> just close the curtains, they'll never get me. It's fine. 
Right, so we'll wait for this zombie dog. I think we can probably take on a zombie dog. It might hurt a little bit. If it hurts, we just go home. If it kills us, I apologize. But if it hurts, we just go home. Where did you go? I hate when they disappear like that. There you are. I can see it. It's there. There you are. Come on. Yep. I'm also paying attention here. This will tell you what you can see around. I don't know why it doesn't exist in the southeast there, but okay. Uh, I'm just kind of hoping that nothing shows up. Yeah, we're alright. Uh, <laughs> anywhere else, because... <laughs> oh, also, we're tired. Um, this is probably not the right thing to do whilst tired. A tough zombie over here. I don't know. I think we don't we don't tackle this loser. You know, we're not gonna make mistakes. You know, tough zombie, tired, gonna say no. Uh, thank you for the offer, but I will see you anon. An anonymous tough zombie. We will drive around the back way. Avoid crashing into shrubs. We do want our car to be as intact as possible, if we don't mind. Uh, baddies, skeletal dog down there. So we'll drive sort of this way. If we can avoid crashing into things of any type, it's fine. If we have to crash into something, it might as well be something that dies as a result. Um, yeah, pulped. This is the way we came out of this area. And we could drive all the way home, which is the nice part. But we should probably stick to the roads to do that. Although, this is the way I ran. Not that long ago, you know. It's um, a long time for me as a person. But the player... The character? No, it's not. It happened like very, very recently. It's a two by four. Ah. I don't think it's worth it right now. We want to be certain we can get back. Because we, we ran past our, our little shelter here, our, our outpost. Trying to stop this. Trying to get this stupid hulk off of our tail, the brute. And we, I mean, now we have a way of bringing back materials. Very not sure I want to run over a zombie cop. <laughs> even in, even in post-apocalyptica. Yeah, apocalyptica. I haven't heard some of their music for a while. Um, I mean, I think they mostly do covers of metal tracks. Right, let's uh, pull this handbrake. I think we could probably take on a zombie cop, which is lucky. Basically, that they don't know how to um, use their weapon. <laughs> zombie dog, zombie cop. Uh, zombie dog is here. Zombie cop is here. Zombie cop is wounded somehow. What we can do is um, chase them around inside the grocery store. First of all, we can ambush them in this doorway. <laughs> The zombie dog has lost sight of us. I don't know if it's still going to follow us. Um, it may do because of smell. I'm just going to take one hit and run. Now, I am tired. I think a zombie cop is easier to beat than a tough zombie. Yeah, clang that. Where's the dog? Outside, right, good. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm fighting it, remember? This is the grocery store I lost. I think it's because it's grey. <laughs> Basically, I didn't notice. Cash card, please. Uh, how's this? No wheels. How's this? Better. We'll grab this. We have, we have, a, we have one back. Two dogs. No, thank you. Stop grabbing this. <laughs> Where have they gone? There they are. To wait for them. It's a bit of an extra long episode because I'm trying to get home first. Stop breaking my car. You better not be breaking my car. Don't go breaking my car. Here we go. Where's the other one? In that car. Why? <laughs> Stop. Dogs, you're so stupid. Dogs, why? Uh, do this and 
Just wait for the dog. Don't mind if this one gets too battered, I guess. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, should be running. Not running. Oh, you got me. What a monster. How dare you. Zombie dog. Here's one. You coming? Coming to get me? Came to get down. I came to get down. To get on your feet. And kill the zombie dog. I'm in pain, so it's harder than it usually is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, stop running. How is this? Like new. This is our brand new trolley. It has never been broken before. It is perfect in every way. We're going to empty the car into... No, we're not. We're going to keep the brazier. Do you know what? I'm... This is going to be for getting stuff from the car into the house. So the... Probably want to keep the glow stick in... North electric car. We want to have matchbook. We want scissors. We'll keep the fishing rod in the car. We'll keep the other tools with us. These are things. Oh, don't need that. We these are things that we're going to be needing in the field, so to speak. And these are things we're going to be needing at home. So let's keep those at home. That door is locked. <laughs> So we've made it home. We're okay. We got the car. We had a little bit of an explore where the brute used to be, which uh, it, uh, was risky, but I think worth it because we got some intel, essentially. What we don't have is a way of getting more 2x4s in a sort of a, a sensible fashion because we haven't got our toolbox anymore, which is a big deal. Um, but we do have... There's plenty of wood ash around here, isn't there? Um, we do have... I've forgotten. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's been a short day. Uh, we have possibly got an option to go back, is what I was thinking there, um, to find it again, basically. And if we can manage that, get our... Because we want to drive back to the place to scope it out so that we can drive away again. But the brutes are very fast. So there's still a decent chance that even if we did that, um, it, it wouldn't, it would be enough, you know. Uh, like we would still get caught up to by the thing. But we ran away last time, but it was dark. That's the big difference. I don't know if we want to do this in the light or in the dark with the car. So <laughs> I guess we just try and find out. We see what happens. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Splintered wood here. But just splintered wood. Yeah, we need more wood. We need more fuel, basically, um, in order to... Just in order to... Let's put these here. I've forgotten my entire system anyway, so... So here we go. Uh, put that there. We did get some more splintered wood. Well, we're home and safe and dry, but we have a lot more to do in order to get anywhere. We do want to make this car better. We want to be able to attach things to it. I'm so grateful that it has working solar panels and at least one decently working battery so that we can continue to drive it. Um, but we need to sleep and we need to eat and we need to, oh, two by fours, perfect. And we need to go back and get our shopping cart so that we can get all the stuff that we lost. And then maybe one day we can take on that brute and win. But right now, that ain't gonna happen. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. And I hope that you maybe give me some ideas of what to do. You know, I'm just going to keep playing this game and try and survive for as many days as I possibly can. It's spring day nine, which is pretty decent. But let's have a goal. Let's have somewhere to go, somewhere to do. There's a microphone to bash, so that's a good start. We obviously need to get down here eventually. But, you know, there's Migos to fight. There's ant hills, and there's, like, so much to do. Um... I hope that each episode is not too dull and boring for you. So that's another 50-minute episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.